In this video I'm going to show you how to turn your very own Norwegian gnome, otherwise known as a gonk. My name's Emma, I'm the Tiny Turner and if you are interested in wood turning or wood related crafts then this is the channel that you should be subscribing to. Make sure you hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Let's get cracking with today's project. For this project we're going to be using one of the gunk kits that I sell through my website. The link to the kit is here or in the description box below if you want to purchase one. The kit consists of two pieces of sycamore, the larger one forms the body of the gonk and the smaller piece is for the nose and the bobble on top of the hat. The other piece of timber is your choice, it's slightly larger and this is what will form the hat. And last but not least we have a piece of faux fur and this is for cutting and shaping our gonk's beard. So the first thing that we're going to do is rough out these two slightly larger blanks. So I'm going to take a pencil and just draw, find the centre on both sides of each blank. And then we'll pop them between centres and we will turn a spigot on one end of each of the blanks. I have chosen spalted beech for the hat. Now, wood turning is obviously potentially quite a dangerous hobby anyway, but in this instance with the spalted beech, a little bit of a word of warning, the spores that cause the spalting within the timber um, are actually fungal spores and we really really do not want to be breathing those in so if you are using something that is spalted please make sure that you do wear some kind of mask or respiratory equipment so I am going to be using my power cap so to rough this out we're going to use a spindle roughing gouge it's rounded off we can take a beading parting tool and we can put a spigot onto one end of the wood for placing the blank in the chuck. So I'll put a slight dovetail on this spigot so that it will sit in the jaws of the chuck and we've got this very flat shoulder which is what the front of the jaws are going to butt up to and we're going to do exactly the same now with the blank for the body of the gonk so now we've got those spigots on we can get the blanks into the jaws. Now I do turn the body first so we will put that straight into the jaws of the chuck. The next thing that we need to decide is whether or not this gonk is going to be freestanding or if it's going to be hanging. Um, if it's going to be standing we need to make sure that its base, the bottom of it, is, got, is flat enough for it to sit. If it's hanging Personally, I like to round them off a little bit more just so that they just look a little bit neater. So it's completely up to you as to what um, as to what way you're going to turn them. So I've got a quarter inch four gauge here. And I'm just going to begin by starting to round this off. And at the same time, we're clearing up the base. I'm getting rid of the marks that the, um, the step centre created. Now I think I'm going to do this one as a hanging one, so I'm just going to keep it quite rounded off underneath. And then we're going to 
start to taper off that body. We're trying to keep that nice flowing curve. And then I'm going to begin to part this off. Now, the particular blank that I was using for this gonk was two inches square and three inches long which gives us plenty of room you don't want the body to be too long with these guys you want it to be quite short um they just they look a little bit better if the bodies are, are, are fairly short so i'm just having a last refinement of that shape i'm just going to make them a little bit shorter I'm actually going to take a little bit of diameter off this because she is quite, quite chunky. And now we can give him a quick sand up. So I've just sanded it to 240 grit and I'm going to put some cut and polish on there just to take us the rest of the way. Helps reduce the sanding process. And then put some wood wax 22 on there just to give him a little bit of a nice soft sheen. And now we can part this section off. So I've already started to part this off already. Um, I'm going to take the parting chisel and I'm going to try and keep this top edge as flat as possible and just leave a tiny little bit of a spigot on there, which we can use if we want as a little bit of a dowel to fix the hat on with so if we're doing that that wants to be about four mil roughly at four or five mil so that is our body section pretty much finished now we can move on to the hat so We'll pop that into the chuck. So your hat blank is slightly longer so that you can make a nice, nice tall hat. But we do have a little bit of drilling to do with the uh, with the hat. So I'm going to start shaping it and then we're going to put a Jacob's chuck in the tailstock end with a very small drill bit in it. But it's what we're going to be using for a locating recess for the little bobble that we're going to turn. You'll see very shortly. So we've got our Jacobs chuck in with the tiny little drill bit and we can now begin to face this front edge off and just start to shape this a little bit. Now I'm just going to dish this end out slightly. You can do this with a spindle gouge or a ball gouge and that's just so the curvature of the little bobble that we're going to turn has got something to sit into and then once we've created that little uh, dish that little dished out area I'm just going to turn the speed right down and just drill our locating hole And now we can finish shaping the hat. I'm just taking the spindle gouge and I'm just cutting some of the excess away because we want this to be a nice neat cut 
down to where it's going to meet the um, body section and then I'll just begin to pile it off slightly so now we can get this sanded and finished and then we can part this off completely so again I'm sanding this to 240 and then we're going to move on to the cut and polish to finish that off And then a coat of the Wood Wax 22. So both these products are applied with the work stationery and then you turn the lid on to book them to a sheen. And now we can finish parting off the hat. So again I'm trying to keep the chisel as flat as possible. We're going to cut all the way through and then we can just nip that off with a chisel and we can then use a hand drill or a power drill to drill our locating figure. The last two components are going to be made out of the small piece of sycamore. So we'll pop this into the middle of the chuck. Now for this I'm not going to use a roughing gouge to rough it out, it's a bit big, we don't need to go down that route. Um, I'm going to stick to the quarter inch bow gouge instead to rough this out and we're going to shape the um, bobble first because it's slightly larger and then the nose second. So we'll just round it off first. If you have pin jaws, obviously you can use your pin jaws to hold this instead of holding it in the manner I have. So now we've rounded it up, just going to begin to create basically a little sphere. So we'll move a little bit of diameter and you turn this bobble to whatever proportions you want it to be. So we'll just face that off. So I like to try and get these as close to spherical as I can. I just like the way that they look. And then I'm going to begin to form that location figure, but we're not going to go right down to sort of half a mil at this stage because we wouldn't be able to finish turning or sanding or finishing the piece. So I just turn it down enough so that I can continue that curve around. Just swap to the spindle gauge just to get the final curve correct. And now we'll sand this up. Again with the cut and polish and the wood wax 22. You can use whatever finish you want, these are just my go to finishes. Yeah, so now we can part this off and create our tiny little spigot. So I'm using a straight edge parting tool. So that's our little bobble and we'll go and do the same again, it's just slightly smaller for his nose. 
So we'll keep the same piece of wood, go back to the quarter inch bow gouge. Reduce that in diameter a little bit more. Forming the spigot. Now we're locating spigot for the nose. I tend to make about four or five mil in diameter, and then use a four or five mil drill bit to create the recess in the body for it to fit into. Same again with the cut and polish and the wood wax twenty two. And then just take down your spigot to the final diameter. There's no need to go all the way down to 1mm for the locating spigot for the nose. Um, we have the space in the body to use a larger drill bit, so you might as well make it much easier to work with. So now all the turning has been completed, all that's left to do is to assemble our gonk. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the hat and I've got a 5mm drill bit in this little hand vise. You can use a, um, a, a drill to do this, whatever you prefer. And this is going to create the recess for the spigot on the body to fit into. Now I have already said that this is not a required stage, you can just butt them up and glue them together without the locating spigot and recess. It's just an extra thing to do to make sure that they fit together properly. Glue wise you can use super glue, you can use PVA glue or you can use a glue gun, um, a hot melt glue gun. I'm just going to use some CA glue, put a little bit on the spigot, a little bit around there and then pop the two together decide where you want the front to be I want that quite decorated area to be at the front and then we can also glue the little bobble on as well so make sure that your spigot fits into that recess little blob of CA glue and then we can pop in our bobble. Again, line it up how you want it to be. So that is the body, the hat and the bobble assembled. Next, we need to put the locating recess for the nose. So decide whereabouts you want your nose. Now, usually, the way that these guys are put together is the nose is very high and close up to the hat because usually these guys, they don't have eyes. You've just got the nose and the beard. So just place the nose and give it a dry run for whereabouts you need to drill that recess. And then proceed with doing that again you don't have to use a hand vise you can use a drill to do this so again give it a dry run and make sure that fits so that is where we are at so far don't glue the nose in just yet because you are going to need to place the beard and you don't want the nose really getting in the way. The nose will also help just hold the beard in place once you've applied the fur. So the fur that comes with the gonk it should be longer than you actually require. Um, but it's up to you how much you want to put on there. Everybody does it their own little way. I'm going to cut some off this. I think that's a little bit too long. So if you cut it upside down and slide the bottom of the scissors along, you're just cutting the backing and not the fur. If you don't do that, 
if I just demonstrate on this piece here, what you're actually doing is cutting all that fur at the side short so you lose that long fur around the edges and it won't quite look right once it's put together. You'll end up with all these stubby little fibres instead of the long fibres that give the uh, the beard its correct look. Now we don't want the fur to be rectangular we're going to give it a little bit of shape so again upside down just cut it to a little bit more of a, a, a V or a triangle it doesn't have to go to a point there we go So I'm just going to give that a dry run and make sure I'm happy with the width of the beard and that it's falling correctly so we've got this really nice sort of shape forming and it's not just in two straight lines. Um, obviously we need to make a little bit of room for the nose because we don't want to place it right down here, we want it placed right up to the rim of the hat. Um, so I t you can just cut a slot if you want but I personally cut more of a V out because this stuff's quite thick and it can be quite difficult to work with. Try and get it central. And then just cut that little V shape out and it just gives you a bit more room to work with. Um, and what we want is when we place the fur up to the brim of the hat that little V cut shows the recess in full and then when you put the nose on it will just help hold everything in place. Now gluing the fur can be a little bit tricky. Um, you can use CA glue but you need to be careful that you don't flood the back in too much because it will start to come through and then you'll end up pressing um, the fur down into the glue and it will just make it into a horrible mess. There are all sorts of material glues out there um, that you can use. I am just going to use a CA glue for speed now um, but as I say if you do use the CA glue just be very careful how you apply it. I'm just going to put a outline around there. We don't want to flood it completely. And then we'll place that onto our body. Make sure we get the edge of material right up to the brim of the hat. Just very, very carefully give that a press down. If you've missed any areas, you can just give it a little bit extra. And then we can glue the nose in. Now for the, for the nose, I tend to put the glue onto the spigot. Don't try and put it in between all that fur. So spigot and then orientate the nose so that you're happy and that will help keep that fur in place. Give him a little bit of a brush make sure that you're happy with the shape of your beard. Now if you decide you want to make your gonk into a hanging ornament all you need to do is attach one of these little brass eyes you can, if you've decided this at the start, you could always drill the bobble while it is on the lathe, just with that tiny little drill bit we use for the hat, exactly the same process. But if you decide afterwards that you want to change one into a hanging gonk, then it's not a problem. Just take the little drill bit, again I'm going to use a little pin vise or hand vise, and then drill your little hole for that little brass eye to go into. and then screw that in by hand. Okay. Then now we can just pop some ribbon or some string through that little eye 
tie a double knot and then I just cut those tails off a little dab of CA glue then to stop that unravelling and there we have our little gonk on this little 